Welcome to the NEC Univerge 3C UC Client and Sapphone training. In this training, we will go through the layout of the UC Client, go over call handling, which includes placing internal and external calls, placing calls on hold, transferring, and conferencing. We will discuss personal options for your UC Client and talk about call forwarding, setting up schedules, and forcing forwarding profiles. We will also go over instant messaging. Here is a closer look at the UC client that has been installed on your PC. The status dropdown allows you to change your present status to notify your colleagues of your work status. The message of the day field allows you to type a 140 character message to share with additional staff and team members. The contact status icon displays your colleague's phone and instant message status. Your contact's location will be displayed below their name. This helps identify which location each contact currently works at. This will be added or updated within the Preferences section of the UC Client. The contact's message of the day shows up directly below their name and right above their location. The Person icon at the bottom of the screen shows you your contact lists. You can choose whether to show all of them or you can choose to have one of them showing. You can have up to 10 lists with 100 people per list. To create a group chat, click on the Group Chat Add icon in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. This will let you name the chat and invite users. To get to an existing group chat, click on the icon in the bottom center of the screen. The Call History icon will allow you to search for both incoming and outgoing calls. To do a search of your directory, click on the search bar and enter in a name, number, extension, or department name and hit enter. You do not need to be on the search screen. Once you hit enter, it will bring you to this screen automatically. If you click on the search screen, you will be populating your last search results. To get to your settings, click on the Preferences icon. The Quick Set Profiles icon allows you to quickly change your presence from one status to another. These profiles need to be set up within the Preferences section of the UC Client. Once they are set, simply select the profile you wish to choose from the drop-down. A number will appear to the right of the Missed Calls icon to notify you of the number of missed calls you have had since the last time you have checked your call history. When you have a new message in voicemail, a number will appear to the right of the voicemail icon to notify you the number of unheard messages. Click the icon to call voicemail and listen to the new messages. Click the Do Not Disturb icon and select your name to send calls directly to voicemail without ringing your extension first. When Do Not Disturb is enabled, the circle with a line will be lit red. To disable Do Not Disturb, click on the icon and select your name again. Please note that many help desk calls have been made because individuals forget to remove themselves from Do Not Disturb. If you utilize a soft phone, you can see the status of it by looking at this icon. When enabled, there will be a green check mark next to the soft phone icon. The contact list management icon allows you to add and remove contacts and contact lists. You are allowed a total of 10 different lists with 100 contacts per list. To call a contact within your list, click the phone to the right of the person's name. To instant message a colleague within the UC client, Click on the instant message icon. A small screen will pop up to allow you to send and receive messages. If you have the proper call permissions, if you scroll your mouse over the I icon, you can see who someone is on the phone with. If you click the double arrow over, it will give you information on that contact, including phone number, email address, and instant messaging options. Here is a closer look at your UC client while on a call. A call control window appears above your contact list. Within that window, there are three call control icons that can be selected. Click on the hang up icon to disconnect the call. One way to transfer a call is to click the transfer icon. A transfer screen will populate for you to search and select the person you wish to transfer the call to. Click the Hold button to place a caller on hold. 
click it again to remove a color from hold. If you are using a soft phone, this icon will appear. It is your soft phone controls. Within the soft phone controls, you can change the volume of your microphone and speaker. It is also a keypad for dialing. When a call is ringing your phone, a pop-up will appear in the bottom right hand corner of your computer screen. You can answer, reject, or send to voicemail. You can also answer the call within the UC client. If a call is missed, a pop-up will appear in the top right hand side of your computer screen and stay there until you close it. To make an internal call using your UC client, click on the phone icon next to the person's name. To initiate an external call, enter plus one and the number into the search field. Then click on the phone icon to the right of the search field. Another type of transfer is called blind transfer. While on a call, click transfer. Type in the name of the contact. Click the box next to the search field Select the contact and click transfer. A consult transfer is another way to send a call to an intended recipient. While connected with a call, click the transfer icon. Type in the name of the contact. Click the box next to the search field. Select the contact. Check the box, talk to the person before transferring call and click the transfer icon. At this point, the original caller is put on hold. A call is made out to the recipient. After you have consulted, click the transfer icon and select the name you wish to transfer to. The transfer will then be complete and you'll notice that both call cells will disappear from your screen. To conference using the UC client, do the following. While connected with the first party, place them on hold and reach out to the second party. Once connected to the second party, click the Join icon and you'll be connected with both parties. Here is what the screen looks like for a three-way conference. We've completed the call handling section of the training and now we're going to change gears. The Preference section of the UC Client is where you can customize your client, manage your quick set and forwarding profiles. To access, click on the gear icon. When you open the Preferences tab, it opens in General Settings, which includes My Profile, Display, Alerts, Quick Set Profiles, and Soft Media Phone. This tab only appears if you are using a soft phone. From the My Profile tab, you can share your current location, share a message of the day, up to 140 characters, and insert a picture. Display provides options on how to display your contacts list, change your time format, preferred transfer method, and picture frame color. At any time, you can change and adjust these settings to better fit your needs. Alerts allows you to select a preference on how you would like to receive incoming calls and instant messages. If you wish to have the UC client update your present status based on your Outlook calendar, the option to enable this preference is also within the tab. Click and unclick all options that you prefer. Quick Set Profiles allow you to set combined presences, present notes, and call offerings for each profile. Soft Media Phone settings allows you to auto start Soft Media Phone with UC Client Startup. Call Offering settings control which of your available devices ring on incoming calls and which is the default device used to place outgoing calls. Call offerings are saved when you exit the UC client. The next time you start up the client application, it will use those call offering settings until you make changes. You must have at least one active device selected to receive incoming calls. The forwarding tab is used to set up conditions on how incoming calls to your profile are routed. A personal forwarding profile contains one or more of the forwarding conditions, each of which identifies when and where calls are forwarded. From the My Profile tab, you can share your current location, share a message of the day, up to 140 characters, and insert a picture.
Within the Display tab, you can choose how contact names are displayed and sorted. Choose between a 12-hour or military clock. Set Inactivity Timeout. Set Transferring Defaults and change color and shading options. Within the Alerts tab, you can choose Sound Alerts, choose Pop-up Alerts, and decide whether or not you want to sync your Outlook calendar with Presents. To create a preset, quick set profile, click Create New Profile. Enter a name for the profile, choose a Presence and Status, select which items you would like to set this for, Click Save Profile, then click Save. To enable your soft media phone, use To Choose Audio, checkbox Enable Echo Canceller, and checkbox Auto Start Soft Media Phone with UC Client Startup. For call offerings, choose which devices you would like to ring soft phone, cell phone, mobility, or desk phone, and click Save. To create a new forwarding profile, click Create a new forwarding profile. Click Modify. Click New Destination. Enter a name, number, and forward time. For an external number, please enter plus one external number. Click Save and click Save again. To make your desk phone and cell phone ring simultaneously, otherwise known as twinning, click Create a new forwarding profile. Click Modify. Click New Destination. Enter a name, number, and forward time. And check the box Continue to Offer Call. Click OK. Click Save. And click Save again. You can also schedule forwarding profiles. After you have set up a forwarding destination, you can set your phone to forward to that specific destination when you select a present status. To do this, click Modify. Click Presence. Check the box Only Forward when your present status is. Check all present statuses that would apply for the forwarding destination and click Save. After you have added times, dates, or present statuses to your forwarding destination, click the drop down and select Scheduled, then click Save. To force forward a profile, select the profile you would like to forward, click the drop down and select Forced, then click Saved. Please note, force forwarding a profile overrides any scheduled events. An instant message window opens when someone starts a new session with you or if you start a new session with another user. Here we are looking at the conversation tab which shows you who you are talking to. If the chat is getting too lengthy you can always click this icon to dial and call them. You can click on this icon to see your conversation history with this person. The email icon will pop up a brand new email addressed to your contact. By clicking the Add Contact icon, you can add them to one of your contact lists. To create a group chat, click on the Group Chat icon, select a name, and choose the people you would like to invite. Depending on the limitations of your operating system, fonts and font options may not be available. Text formatting changes are saved locally to your computer when you exit your session. The font, size, and color will remain when you start the next session. Click and choose the desired fonts, sizes, and colors to communicate with your contacts. Enter your text within the message field and click Send to send the messages. A single message can contain a maximum of 512 characters. Congratulations! You have finished the NEC, 3C, UC Client, and Softphone training. If you have any further questions, please contact your system administrator.